uh, let's see. Sarah, you, like I, are, are a gigantic Capcom fan. This is correct, yeah. yes? What do you think about the vegetable known as a leek? Uh, I have a whole thing of Hatsune Miku statues back there. You just can't see them. <laughs> <laughs> I do enjoy leaks, but also just a quick preface: I don't enjoy leaks that have actual people's info in them. That's not okay. Yep. And personally, I wouldn't call these leaks. I would call them legit stolen info. For the sake because of the pun, I will legit just toss a picture of a leak on stream. That's fine. But yeah, but yeah, yeah so this the, this one's the the Nintendo one. The Nintendo one from earlier this year was was fun and whimsical. This one's this a little one's less good. so. This yeah, one's so, significantly uh, less so. So, preface <laughs> this with a little bit of background. About a couple of weeks ago, uh, I'm not going to name the hacker group because they go fuck themselves. A uh, hacker group came out and announced that they had stolen data from Capcom, Ubisoft, and Crytek. So, like, the crisis people. And they had said that they had stolen everything from in-game engines, to game documents, to Watch Dogs, in, in a weird twist of fate, Watch Dogs Legion source code, which they then leaked Wait, part of it off. Yeah, Seriously? they, they yeah. grabbed Watch Dogs wow. source code, and they leaked part of it on, online. They, like, leaked the, the Quest X editor online. So these are not good leaks. They basically held these ransom and said if they don't get paid a certain amount of money by these companies, they would, like, drop everything. Well, the companies haven't paid them. So, supposedly, the companies haven't paid them. So they started to drop stuff. And what they got from Capcom doesn't just include the games list that I am going to go over or just, like, name out now. But they got employee info. They got addresses. They got e e emails. Mm. They got passports from a few of them. Like, this shit is not good, guys. Mm. Like, this is not... A good week yeah like you have social those security funny... numbers yeah yeah like like they like you have those funny leaks where it's like oh you go to a source code to a website and they leak the release date for a game no that's not this this yeah is incredibly mm -hmm. malicious so before we go about going through this list of stuff and being excited about it just know that this stuff was not gotten because of like someone leaked an email no this was gotten because personal info was leaked out, and this just happened to be a part of that info. Uh, One of the more um, fucked up parts about this is that that uh, I won't I won't name the group either, but the hacker group is um, not holding it black. They're, they're holding it hostage. They want to get paid in order to release all all this back to Capcom, and uh, I think everyone here can. I think it's pretty safe to say we roundly condemn this, and those people can yeah. go fuck themselves. Uh, do you want me to go through the list really quick? Oh uh, yeah, go ahead, sir. Cool. So I'm just going to go really quick and then the supposed release windows of these titles. Uh, we got Resident Evil Outrage, which we don't know exactly what that is, but there's been speculation that there might be a new out Outbreak title, which is quarter four of 2021. Dragon's I hope it is better than Resident Evil Resistance, which was Please. packed in with three. Uh, Dragon's Dogma 2, which is quarter two 2022. Uh, there's Street Fighter 6. Uh, yay. Mesa. Yay. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is quarter three of twenty. Uh, I would have thought that would have been more enthusiasm from you. <laughs> oh, it's just it's expected. I like I like if yeah, like if you just pay attention to their releases, you can pretty much map out exactly when it was going to come out anyway. So, <laughs> uh, Rock, Rockman, which is Mega Man in English, uh, match, which could be a battle royale game. We don't know. Uh, quarter three, twenty twenty two, Resident Evil Four re remake, quarter four, twenty twenty two. Which I'm just going to preface this by saying. This has this, this hadn't been announced yet, but we all fucking figured it was coming. If they're doing three, they might as well do four. Resident uh, Evil Four is my personal baby. That's my favorite game of all time. Please do this shit justice. Uh, Ani Musha Newark. Don't know what that is. A uh, quarter four, twenty twenty two. Monster Hunter Six, which is quarter two of twenty twenty three. Uh, Biohazard Apocalypse, which is quarter three, 2023. Again, don't know what that is either. Biohazard uh, would be the Japanese name for yeah, Resident Evil. Yeah, people it's Resident Evil. Uh, Super Street Fighter 6, quarter four, 2023. You gotta wait for the Super wait, Street eight, Fighter. Gotta, gotta wait that extra year for the Super. Uh, Final Fight Remake, quarter two of 2024. Power Stone Remake. Oh, God, that's a name I haven't heard in ages. Yeah. Uh, three of 2021. Ultra Street Fighter 6. <laughs> <laughs> 4 of 2024. It's and then important. Pink, 
which for those who don't know, that's most likely Hunk. Just someone accidentally put an A there. Uh, quarter for 2024. Another thing that got released is that in April 2021 is the release date for Resident Evil Village, which is not surprising. A lot of people thought it was going to be early 2021, which makes total sense. Didn't and they? The, I don't want to say they announced it, but it's like they strongly hinted that it was coming next year, didn't they? No, no the ending of the Village reveal trailer said 2021. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> or like yeah, early 2021 or something. And the final thing is, is that Sony paid $5 million for his Evil 7 bio, Biohazards VR mode, which a lot of people say was the main selling point of that game um, and PSVR in general. Well, Google popped up <laughs> $10 million to get the game on Stadia, which it's like, oh boy, did anyone even play that on Stadia? Like, I have... It, I, I really need to play the VR version of 7. And it's so funny, I get that to Google, $10 million, they probably have that money lying around on a coffee table somewhere, but whenever I see Stadia even brought up at this point, it's just... It's like, oh yeah, that's still a thing, because Google seems to have forgotten about it. Mm -hmm. I think in terms of giving options to players that might not necessarily have a console in the house, I know Mesa has, <laughs> has attested to this uh, multiple times. Oh, yeah. But, but for, I was... for those that have the internet available, like, yeah, sure, there's a great solution. And... I was a big proponent of OnLive when that was a thing. Yeah. Oh, gee. But, Absolutely. Uh, I think more options is always good. But, yeah, every time I hear Siri, I just can't help but groan just be like, oh... That exists again. I mean, I Stadia is doing so poorly that their Google is giving me a Chromecast Ultra and a Stadia controller for free. So, <laughs> please play it. And then, <laughs> hopefully, the we'll the basically, what we're, what we're getting from this list is that very obviously the success space. of the Resident Evil re remakes and with Resident Evil 7 and which Capcom's already betting on, on Village slash 8 being such a big thing for for them. We're not getting rid of Resident Evil anytime this soon, which is a big fan of that series. I'm super excited for it. It's how they handle 2 and 3. I'm actually very excited about a remake of 4. I think it can be really good if it's done by, by the right people and I think Capcom has showed that the right people can do really good re remakes of really old games. Uh, like Mesa mentioned, Street Fighter isn't so 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 surprising to me. I figured there was going to be a six at some point. So the many versions of it is making me feel like okay. I feel like that's almost well, like those are, for the course, right? That's well, those kind of common for them. Well, yeah, but those are what those are. It's, I know it looks like oh, just but those are those tend to be also system updates as well. There's new new features more than just new characters. Also, just like the game is going to play differently at those points. But that's also like a forty dollar, sixty dollar update. No, basically, um, not right? not not for not not since five. With five, okay. you just get the update. If okay. you have the original disc, you just get the update. Well, so you can good. pay for the new characters if you want them, but you'll always get the update. What I thought was interesting was the. I mean, this leak made pretty big waves in the fighting game community, obviously, because on mm -hmm. one hand you've got Street Fighter, uh, which is well known. What a lot of people don't realize is Power Stone. Mm -hmm. actually has a fighting game community, a competitive community. It's very small and very niche. I put it on par with something like Super Smash Brothers Melee, but it does exist. So this to them is like being thrown a bone after about 20 years. Absolutely, yeah. I think uh, before we move on to what we've been up to, I, I specifically want to touch on Resident Evil 4 just because I'm such a freaking uh, fanboy for it. Uh, I know they're not going to keep the tank controls for four. That that's inevitable. It's going to play more akin to uh, two or th uh, two and three remakes, if anything. But that original game is so balanced with the tank controls in mind. Like you have to radically change how enemies are able to approach you because everything is so tightly designed around those limitations. The way you aim, the way you can't move, like it's already so freaking perfect. And so. Um, Breaking away from that is going to be interesting to see how they, how mm -hmm. they, uh, well, you also how, how they compensate for that. Because, uh, what was it? The, 
I think it was the PS3 uh, 360 re-releases of Resident Evil 1, the uh, the re-remake, or I guess remake, which was re-remake. Yeah. Um, they, they added the option to have, to, well, you can still use the tank controls like on the D-pad, but if you're using the analog stick, you can just, you know, twirl around as much as you want. <laughs> and that broke the entire game because you're not supposed to run around and juke zombies. Like, you're supposed to be locked in these stiff animations. So that game basically became a little bit of a joke in that regard so i, I mean hope that they rebalance it if they're gonna go this way i mean with how two and three were especially three like i'm totally putting three in this over two the way that they remade three and yeah you can argue that that they cut out a lot of important parts like the whole clock clock towers segment and everything like that but the way that they remade three and made it Yes, it was as close to the original as they could make it, but it was also its own thing. I feel like just seeing how that handled it, and yes, a lot of people argue it wasn't handled well. I personally think it was handled amazingly, and I loved it. I think that's definitely going to show how they're going into 4, but I think they fully know that they're going to be remaking something that's so big with people that I think Mm -hmm. they... I I don't know. With how they handled 2 and 3, I have a feeling that Capcom knows what they're doing. And they're putting count- their best people on this. Like they yeah. know they're touching this with like, with like a yeah. ten, a, like two ten ten foot poles, and they know they're either going to make or break this by doing the smallest thing. So I have a feeling it's going to be handled good. I'm not yeah. exactly agreed. Yeah, I have so, a full confidence in that team, and uh, I, I guess I'm just more concerned just because that's my favorite game of all time. <laughs> oh no! And, and um, like like with two and three in particular, you know, with those being um, PS one games, are in much more dire need. I would still argue, aside from people that aren't able to adapt to tank controls, that Resident Evil four, like you could probably just remaster like whole new textures, and it, it would be good as new. But well, yeah. Really anticipating um, either way. I mean, spoilers for the end of like the Resident Evil Three remake, I guess. But you can tell that they're kind of not exactly changing the canon, but they're slowly starting to add a little bit more story changes. And I know what you're talking changes. about. So mm. it's like, I feel like Four isn't going to be a shot for shot remake, especially with how Three and Two happened. Honestly, I have, that's I how I that, prefer it. Yeah, I don't yeah. think that Four is going to be its own like thing but it's going to fit in this new canon like i don't think they're going to change a lot i think they're going to do what what what, what they did with three and add those very small changes to make it a part of this like new canon keep the laser hallway let my boy uh do some matrix stuff 100 percent going to keep the laser hallway if they don't i feel like people are going to be pissed (laughs) in general though i think whatever you can say about capcom they do have a certain degree of respect and reverence for their franchises that some other publishers now might do. lack. But yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Back in 2012, not so much. <laughs> but at least with Resident Evil. Yeah. 